Hey guys, it's Tricky Nick here. I'm a hardcore Nintendo fan, so I've had experience with every Nintendo console, whether it's for 5 minutes or 5 years. Since I've played so many Nintendo games throughout my 437 years of living, I thought I would rank my favorite game for every Nintendo console. This list will only include titles that originated on their respective console, so no ports. I'm looking at you, Nintendo Switch. If you guys enjoy the video and you want to see more Nintendo content, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Anyways, let's begin. Nintendo's first console was the Nintendo Entertainment System and it released way back in 1983. Since this was Nintendo's first console, many of their hard-hitting series were introduced here. Things like Super Mario Bros, Legend of Zelda, Metroid, Kirby, Donkey Kong, and many more franchises were first seen here. But by far the best game on the NES was Super Mario Bros 3. Since this game was released farther into the NES's lifespan, Super Mario Bros. 3 was able to expand upon the graphics and gameplay of Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 3 established many of the tropes seen in the franchise even today as well. The Koopalings debuted in this game, and while their boss fights were rudimentary, seeing these new characters for the first time was still an incredible experience. The world maps were also introduced, along with many new environments. And before you ask, what about Super Mario Bros. 2? No! Ah, the Game Boy. Nintendo's first ever handheld console. Rather than going through every single Game Boy console, because there are a ton, I'm just gonna clump all the Game Boy games together. Like seriously, you look away for like 3 seconds and there's another one. My favorite game on the Game Boy was originally going to be Super Mario Land 2 6 Golden Coins because it spawned the Wario Land franchise, but then I realized, I can just pick the Wario Land games! Despite having the title Wario Land Super Mario Land 3, this game has nothing to do with Mario. While Super Mario Land 2 is an amazing game, since it was a Mario game, it was scared to stray too far from the Mario formula. Since Wario Land is its own franchise, it did things that Super Mario Land was too scared to do. This game just had amazing platforming and more innovation than any other Mario game we'd seen before. So it's my favorite game for the Game Boy. The next console Nintendo released was the Soup Soup! A Nintendo Entertainment System! This console took advantage of Mode 7, a graphical mode that gave games sort of a 3D feel. Thus, more complex games were able to be made for this system. One of the most technologically advanced franchises on the system was Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country used 3D models and animated them as 2D sprites in order to get a very graphically pleasing game. But out of the three Donkey Kong Country games on this system, only one can be my favorite. While this is an unpopular opinion, Donkey Kong Country 3 is my favorite of the original trilogy. Something about Donkey Kong Country 3 was just so charming to me. The game was an incredible platformer, featuring an interactive world map with action-packed levels. Some of the wackiest Nintendo characters appear here, such as Kitty Kong, Frankenstein K. Rule, and Funky Kong. The game also has so much replay value due to the vast amount of collectibles in the game that give us secret levels and the true ending. Unfortunately, this game was overlooked by many because it released after the launch of our next console on the list, the Nintendo 64. Oh wait! I almost forgot about the Virtual Boy! I never actually played this console, but judging by simply watching some gameplay, Wario Land for the Virtual Boy looks to be the coolest. I can't definitively say this is my favorite game on the console, but it's a safe assumption due to the extremely low amount of games on the Virtual Boy. The Nintendo 64 was Nintendo's leap into the third dimension, featuring 3D titles for almost all their mainstay series, but none were as influential and revolutionary as Super Mario 64. Unfortunately, this game isn't my favorite title for the system. Since I didn't grow up with a Nintendo 64, I, unlike most, am not blinded by nostalgia for this console. While Super Mario 64 was cool and all, it doesn't really hold up well today. I know many people are gonna hate on me for this and disagree with my choice for this, but I really love Clay Fighter 63 and a third. This game breaks free from the norm of the Nintendo 64 and spices it up with a game based on fighting characters molded from Clay. While this is a Mortal Kombat clone somewhat, the charming concept of Clay characters was always just so funny to me. Oh, oh, oh. Also, you can have a fat naked Santa shove you up as... Well, you get the picture. Well, if I wasn't sold already, I definitely am now. So yeah, Clay Fighters is actually my favorite game for the Nintendo 64. 
The next console released by Nintendo was the Nintendo GameCube. This console had about every series you could think of on it, so choosing one to be my favorite was extremely difficult. My favorite though has to be Luigi's Mansion. Before people say Tricky Nick, but Luigi's Mansion lost the game battle against Super Mario Sunshine. Reese took part in that decision. Now that I'm sharing my own thoughts and opinions, I love Luigi's Mansion. Not only was this the start of the Luigi's Mansion franchise, but it was an incredible showcase of the capabilities of the GameCube. Luigi's Mansion is such a fun and interesting concept, and I love the spooky and fun vibes it gives off. Catching ghosts with the help of some random old dude will never get old. So for that, this game is near and dear to my heart. This game is just so charming, and I can't resist giving it the favorite spot. The next console is one of my favorites, and that is the Nintendo DS and DSi. These beauties were the start of an era where Nintendo third-party games were rampant. So there are 1700 games to choose from here. This section was a tie between New Super Mario Bros and Mario Kart DS, because I think each of these games is the best in their respective series. New Super Mario Bros DS revitalized and revolutionized 2D Mario, and Mario Kart DS vastly improved upon previous titles, adding retro tracks, wacky characters, and incredible carts. Oh, oh! Also, mission mode. Since each game was so incredibly good, I couldn't pick one over the other here. The Wii was actually my first ever home console, and I'm gonna cut to the chase here. New Super Mario Bros. Wii is my favorite game on this console. At the time the game was made, the New Super Mario Bros. series was truly new, and the name wasn't a massive joke. On top of featuring the 2D platforming we know and love, we now had 4 player multiplayer too. Wowzas! Along with that, we also have the glorious return of the Koopalings, and some of my favorite power-ups too. We have the propeller power-up, we have the ice flower, and we have the penguin power-up too. But one of my favorite parts and the most impressive part about this game was the final fight. If you've been living under a rock for a decade, I won't spoil it for you, but it's incredible. So yeah, New Super Mario Bros. Wii is my favorite game on this console. This next console is my favorite Nintendo console. The Nintendo 3DS. The franchise I'm about to talk about I don't even believe I've ever mentioned on the channel before. Pokemon Moon may have been my third Pokemon game, but this was the first time I ever got so invested in a Pokemon game. This game was so incredibly fascinating at the time, and I and my friends were so happily surprised by all the new Alolan variants seen in the game. I was glad to see my favorite Pokemon Muck get a colorful new variant. There were also Ultra Beasts, an extremely powerful Pokemon that could be captured after completing the main story of the game. I think Pokemon Moon resonated with me so much, mainly because of all these new variants of Pokemon. This was a never before seen way to play Pokemon, and while some thought the game was too different, I just fell in love with it. In fact, making this video has actually made me want to go back and play some Pokemon games. I do want to admit that Super Mario 3D Land was a very close second here, but I figured adding a Pokemon game to this list would spice it up a little bit. Oh boy, the Wii U. One of Nintendo's biggest flops. Oh yeah! This console had only one game that really hit it out of the park, and that game was Mario Kart 8. Being one of the best selling games on the Wii U, and one of the best games in the Mario Kart franchise, this game is loads of fun. The new mechanic featured in this game is the anti-gravity boost pads, and they do... Well, they exist. The roster is also a lot of filler, which would be fine if they didn't forget iconic characters that we've all come to know and love. Ah! In all seriousness, this game has some incredible tracks and carts, but it's seriously lacking in some other areas. It's very sad to know that this is the best the Wii U could do, but I guess that's how the carrot cakes. And that leaves us with only one more console, the Nintendo Switch. As it stands now, there is still so much potential for this hybrid console. But Nintendo needs to focus on new titles for this system. As for my favorite game on it right now, Luigi's Mansion 3 and Super Mario Odyssey are still a very close battle for me. I'm gonna say Luigi's Mansion 3 gets the edge here, because it's easily the best Luigi's Mansion game of all time. I love the new concept of being in a hotel and all the unique floors it entails. The graphics are the best of any Switch game, they're just so beautiful and charming. I also love how everything you encounter has personality, even Luigi's lifeless doppelganger Gooigi. The boss fights are some of the best boss fights I've ever seen in any game. 
And for all that, Luigi's Mansion 3 is my favorite Nintendo Switch game. That concludes my favorite game for every Nintendo console. Obviously, this is in no way the definitive list of best games on every console, so just remember that this is just my opinion. That being said, I highly recommend you guys try these games out if you haven't before. There's a lot of fun to be had with them. If you guys enjoy this and you want to see my least favorite game for every Nintendo console, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next one.